Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel and today's video is like an official launch video for the Biology Made Easy series that I have mentioned to you guys recently and on my channel if you head on there you will see a playlist that I have made called Biology Made Easy series and it is easy for you to track my videos from there because every single video that I make in this series will be added to that playlist Along with that, I have an AdMeds Made Easy series as well. You can check that out. So for this Biology Made Easy series, I post new videos every single Friday. And these videos actually cover every single little detail in the syllabus. And of course, it is um, according to the SPM syllabus since my viewers are like SPM students. And it covers little details that will be asked, including in objective questions as well. There are some more things to note when it comes to this Biology Made Easy series videos and one of the things is that I will be mentioning the type of questions that is frequently asked based on every single video. Like let's say I'm doing a video on the structures of animal cell, then I'll be mentioning that it is more often asked in structures or in MCQ and stuff like that. Because um, I know this from my previous experience because I've done a lot of exercises when it comes to biology. So I would kind of have an idea whether it is more frequently asked in structure, MCQ or in essay question as well. Which brings me to my next point is the fact that when I explain something which is frequently asked in essay questions, I would definitely ask you guys to take note of that. Because as you all know, essay questions in biology are like the key to getting A+. Plus. One essay question is 20 marks. So if you can... If you can nail all those essay questions, then getting an A plus in biology won't be that much of a problem. And the next thing is that I will try to include a lot of graphics in these videos, otherwise it will be boring. So um, I will be including things like tree diagrams and mind maps. Mind maps I've found are so useful as especially for studying biology so I would definitely try to include that and I'll be drawing a lot of diagrams as well because visual learning is one of the best methods in my opinion to actually learn the material properly so yeah I'll try to be more graphic with these videos and of course another thing that I would be including in these videos are memory triggers as in like acronyms and what I use the memory tools that I use to remember certain stuff. There are some acronyms that I have created that I could share with you guys and it's easy to mention them as we go along the syllabus in these videos so hopefully they could be useful for you guys. I'll of course be mentioning the important things to remember. Some things are more important than most and I do have an idea of which ones are those so I will be mentioning that and one of my goals of this series is to make biology fun or at least if you hate biology, then I'll try to make it bearable for you guys. So yeah. Lastly, before I end this video, I would just like to remind you that I post new videos of Biology Made Easy series every single Friday. And for AdMeds, if you are interested in seeing that, I'll be posting that every single Tuesday. And while you're here, be sure to like this video if you like the idea of this series and you hope that it would help you to give this video a like. And lastly, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so that you do not miss out on a single video that I post on my channel. So that's all for today's video and I'm really excited to be launching this biology and, and maths made easy series for you guys. And I hope that you will be able to make the learning experience more fun for you guys. I hope that you'll be helpful. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.